Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this vlog I am cruising along the River Trent and I'm going to show you how I set up the anchor. I've never had an anchor before um, so I thought it would be quite interesting to show you how it's used, how to set it up um, and why I have one. So yeah, I'll get into that now and I hope you enjoy. So this is the new 20 kilo anchor. It stows quite nicely on the front deck. Um, it's currently taped up at the moment just to stop anybody from cutting themselves on it. Obviously when we're using it, the tape would be removed. Um, so yeah, that's the anchor, 20 kilos. And it attaches to some chain and then some rope. So it's recommended that a six foot deep river on a standard narrow boat around 57 foot requires a 20 kilogram anchor attached to five to 10 meters of chain, attached to 40 foot of rope roughly. So I'm not an expert, this is just what I'm choosing to do. The rope and chain are attached with splice loops on the rope and shackles to the rope and chain and anchor. The anchor would only be used in emergency circumstances to prevent going over a weir or having loss of control. This could happen as a result of engine failure. So in my last vlog, um, or the, the one before that, I talked about um, the problems that I'd had with the engine on this boat. So as a preventative measure and just to be safe, I decided to purchase an anchor and have one on board so that should something bad happen, I would be prepared. So yeah, that's just what I choose to do. Um, so I'm going to show you on the clips on screen how I put it all together whilst I'm talking about this. So as I was leaving the canal to enter the river, I was fortunate enough to go through a lock with this wooden steamboat kind of thing. I didn't really get chatting to the couple that owned it because it was we we're going through the lock um, to find out more information about the boat. But it was really interesting to watch how it how it cruised and see like the old technology. So I really enjoyed sharing the lock with the boat. So here we're just doing a little bit of a river crossing. I won't talk too much and um, just let you enjoy the scenery. So coming off the River Trent, to get back onto the Trent and Mersey Canal, you have to go through Solly Lock. Solly Lock is an electric operated lock, um, so I didn't have to get off the boat. But I just wanted to give a special shout out to Jeff, who you will see on screen in just a second. He was lovely and had been watching the vlogs, um, so it was really nice to meet you, Jeff.
so once you go through Solly, you go back onto the river. So I won't talk too much again um, to let you enjoy the, the scenery. I love going on rivers. The boat goes a lot faster and I just really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy it too.
So now that we were back on the safety of the Trent and Mersey Canal, it was time for some lunch. So I did some avocado toast, some hummus with tortilla chips and carrot sticks and some homemade vegan granola bars. So I hope you enjoyed this river cruise with me and I'll see you next week. Bye!